So on Friday, we told her, like, what are you even uncomfortable about? You're not doing anything wrong. And we kind of rehashed this debate of socially women have been, dang, I can't think of another word, socialized. Socially, women have been socialized. It's oh, a bad sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Painting myself into a tight corner. Um, to like n- not say, hey, this is an uncomfortable situation, especially for the, perp- for the person that's purposely doing what's uncomfortable. Yeah, I- it's been like a societal pressure thing for centuries. And it's just something women have adapted to and how we've... How, how we've been taught, basically, is that when something is uncomfortable, you try to make it comfortable. So if even if somebody else is in the wrong, it's so bizarre. It, it, it really is a mind F. Somebody else is in the wrong, but you're c- so concerned with making them feel uncomfortable <laughs> that you won't, won't point out the injustice or what's been how, it, how you've been wronged for fear of making it an uncomfortable situation. So in this case, when we were talking to Tina on Friday... Uh, Tina, refresh our memory here. This friend of yours, this guy friend, you guys have been friends for how long? Oh, a while. Like first year of college. So uh, when was that? It's like 15, 16 years. 15, 16 years. And it's always been platonic. There has been nothing physical, almost brotherly towards you. Yeah, definitely. So dude, all of a sudden now is asking you for pictures of your boobs. Well, not out of the blue. <laughs> not out of the blue, you know, like I would, you know, because I want to, I'm like considering getting, um, you know, an augmentation or an enhancement. And I asked him what he thought. And then that's when he was like, well, send me a picture of what they look like right now. I and mean, I'll let you know. That is such a creeper move right there. The standard answer is do what makes you comfortable. No right. dude goes, well, you know what? Let me be judge and jury, but I, you know, need more evidence. <laughs> Just curious. Send for com- pictures of your boobs. <laughs> for comparison purposes, <laughs> when you told your girlfriends this, did they ask for pictures of your boobs? No. Okay. <laughs> you know, and thank you for sending me pictures of your boobs, but now I need to see a boob uh, butt ratio. So if you could send me <laughs> some pictures of your naked butt. That would be cool, too. <laughs> like he a professional at it. Where does it stop? <laughs> All right, so you are uncomfortable going into the weekend. Kaylee, you got something? I see your hand up there. Did, so did I hear that right? She asked if she should get him? No. She no, didn't. She oh, didn't. you mean yeah, did she, she ask her, her yeah, friend? Yeah, well, I mean, how could he give her an honest opinion if he's never seen him? You're, what? You're you don't have guy. to see them, Nick. They're right there. <laughs> right. I mean, listen. I used to pierce breasts <laughs> all the time. I mean, I've seen it all. But if someone's going to ask you whether they should or should not get him, I mean, maybe he just took it literally. Well, let me see him and I'll tell you. Maybe okay, he's not so, being uh, a creep. Maybe he's just stupid. Oh, look at Kaylee. He's <laughs> standing up for all creeps. You're such a team player. Well, he well, might not be a creep. Piercing on a nipple, you'd have to see the nipple. A piercing on a nipple, you'd have to see that. But, like, uh, you can tell if a woman is insecure with her body, and you can tell that from the outside with a shirt on if you think she needs him or not. Well, what are you going to say? Even if you, you do think she does, what are you going to say? Like, yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you for a while. You really should do this. <laughs> yeah, no, like, this- why do you need to send bear? <laughs> right. Well, because you can't really, I mean, because if she's not, I mean, if they're in a bra and under a shirt, how can you really tell? <laughs> Because you, you're thinking bras are um, with the padding and underwire and everything well, like that yeah, give you a fake. Well, right. Some women who aren't huge chested will pad because they want to appear to have more than they do, right? I mean, my wife being one of them, I, she, not, she doesn't have a huge chest. But I'm just saying. I'm just sticking <laughs> up for the dude. He doesn't necessarily have yeah, to be trouble. a yeah. pervert just because he wants to take it. Because he wants to help her out. Enjoy, the, enjoy that couch tonight. <laughs> the thing is, you turn your mic on to do this. Like, you don't even have to have you it you, you, I'm standing up for men, all right? You're, giving them, you're saying the dude's a pervert right. because he's asking for a picture, but maybe he really just wants to give his opinion 
accurately. He, he wanted to stand up for men and also right. back the bus over his wife. It's fine. Not only I did Mo, not only does he have to turn his own <laughs> mic on, he usually just raises his hand. This case, he was like, <laughs> 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 that is an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> like his car ran out of gas on the side of the road, and he was in the middle of the no of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right, Tina. So um, even though you, we're sure your friend was good intentioned, um, how did you handle it with him this weekend? Um, well, I got some advice when I was on Friday. I think Davi said, you know, send him a picture of like someone else's boobs, like really like hairy nipples or something. Yes. yes. So I, I didn't do that, but I did oh. send him a picture of like a very flat chest, like <laughs> You know, I was just, you know something I thought was similar to my size, just so I could see what he like. If he would say something like, "Oh yeah, you should totally do it." So not your boobs, but a, like a Google stock image. Exactly. You just googled yeah, flat like chest. I just googled flat chest, and <laughs> I found one. You know, similar. Um, was it my that? OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the girl that you used not. would be so flattered. <laughs> <laughs> but he writes back. Like this is where it gets really bad. He writes back. He's like, "That's not your chest." You don't have a mole right there. Huh? And I was just like, what? Hold on. Kaylee, why is this? So, yeah, you want to raise your hand now? You want to defend it? <laughs> you I a- retract. Okay. <laughs> 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 the cover, okay? I didn't have all the info. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So he says, look, these are not your boobs. Clearly, you don't have like the freckle or whatever. And what do you say back to him? Oh my! I was just like, this is so beyond creepy coming yes. from you like this you can't like i just i wrote a, i wrote this whole paragraph and i'm like this is really <laughs> creepy you can't be asking me for photos of my boobs and like you know and then now you're telling me these aren't mine and so it was just it was too much i'm like this is not going anywhere good so we just kind of like i just kind of left it like that he sent me something back but i just haven't responded yeah Davi, when you when you asked him his opinion, were you just like fishing for a dude to say you don't need that? You're perfect the way you are. Or did you legitimately want his opinion? No, I really wanted his opinion. Like, I really like we've known each other for a long time. I thought, you know, he was like a friend, someone, you know, you go to your friends to get opinions when you need advice. He's my friend. You're, okay. okay. Um, so not you, a podcast, radio. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you, you ask your girlfriends, and you're like, all right, I have women's uh, women's perspectives. Now I have right. a good guy friend, so I'd like to have right. a male it's perspective. Get, yeah, it's good to get all perspectives. There is only one response if you are a man to this question, and it is, do what you feel is going to make you happy. The unless I do, you're a creep. Unless you're Kaylee, you're a creep. <laughs> and the answer could be, <laughs> let me, me see your boobs. Yeah. I've been waiting for this for years. <laughs> you, you'll never get an answer out of me yeah. asking me that one. You're going to get do what, do what works for you. That's it. <laughs> so at this point, does she just let it go and like pretend this whole thing never happened? You can't, you no, know, you can't pretend this didn't happen. Like, I would wait for him to apologize. I feel like she, yeah. an apology is warranted here. Yeah, and he'll know. He'll know by your silence that you're really ticked off. But if you yeah. wanted to make some money while you're at it, <laughs> you could just put like a, like a tip jar on your desk at work or wherever you encounter him most and put like booby fund on it. And he'll just start putting 20s in there like bananas crazy. And then you'll just make some money and you don't have to get them. You did say tip with a P, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's the that's the joke. I couldn't write what I actually put on my tip jar when I used to bartend <laughs> because I can't say that word on the radio. All right, Tina. Good luck with them. Thanks, guys. See you now. The Burt Show. Hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Burt Show for free. We drop new podcasts every weekday. And you can find us anywhere. Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.